Hi, welcome to a video of my finds for today, Saturday, September 15, 2018. A slow day compared to last week, didn't find much. On what I Actually, I bought stuff from two places. Went to a collective sale, got there too late. Some guy bought about 10 LPs before I got there, so all I got were these two LPs. Argent, Nexus, in good condition. I've checked a few seconds of it uh, a, few, a moment ago on YouTube. It seems to be progressive rock from 1974, can go wrong, it's in great shape. And got this best of by The Who, Hooligans. Seems to be a uh, uh, early 80s reissue. I don't think it's the first pressing. And uh, anyway, for a dollar. Well, a dollar. You see, I got these two LPs and these 12, is it 12? Yeah, 12 CDs for uh, seven dollars but I think it came to five dollars for these 12 CDs and two, do uh, two dollars for these two LPs what do we have here a mix of everything this is mostly for the card but the very best of James Brown there's like 20 tracks on there yeah some 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 uh, kitsch the very best of Henry Mancini Midnight Moonlight and Magic could be fun to listen to in the car there's many tracks 23 tracks Ça, uh, ça se peut, je l'ai déjà. Jacques Dutron, une, une, une collection de 16 chansons. C'est pas un CD très très long. La chanson était pas longue dans ce temps-là. Quasiment sûr, je l'ai déjà. J'aurais peut-être pas. Mais ça, c'est Kitsch au bout de Carlos. J'espère que c'est des versions originales. Si c'est un si c'est des réenregistrements, je me débarrasse de ça. C'est raide, là. Euh, avec les succès comme Seigneur Météo, euh, Rosalie. Ouais, c'est ah, pas l'original. Rosalie, ça ne dure pas 4 et 45, ça, ça dure 4 et, et 20. C'est me suis fait avoir. Donc ça, c'est probablement garbage parce que c'est pas une version originale. Connie Francis, je me trompe peut-être. Connie Francis, 20 all-time greats. They're all there, stupid cute. Stupid cupid, lipstick on the collar, who's sorry now. Hoping these are the original versions. Vacation. Some jazz in there. Django Reinhardt, I might have this already. I'm not sure anymore. I don't know by heart which jazz CDs I had. Go back a few years, you'll see a video of uh, all my uh, huge CD jazz CD score. And there was a Django Reinhardt in there, so I don't know if I already have this. It was on Verve, so no, can go wrong. Stefan Grappelli, Crazy Rhythm. I'm almost sure I don't have that. A 17 tracks. The very best of Bobby Vinton. It only has 14 tracks, so. Mm. See, I had uh, we used to have the uh, KTL eight track uh, eight track compilation with twenty tracks, and I have the twenty track compilation on. Anyway, it was cheap. This is good. Django Reinhardt and Stéphane Grappelli, Quintet of the Hot Club of France. Twenty tracks, fifty six minutes. So that's very good. Talking Verve, Astrid Gilberto on Verve. Can go wrong with them. How many? Uh, Oh, only 44 minutes of music. 16 tracks. This I, uh, ça, je l'ai déjà dans le, mon intégral, mais c'est cool d'avoir la pochette originale. J'ai le 10 pouces de ça. J'ai le, le 25 cm pour les Français. Hein. Mais c'est le fun parce que le livret, il, je l'ai plus pour le livret, la reproduction des étiquettes originales. C'est pas cher. Je dois comment on va le prendre. En plus, il y a ce grand méchant vous dessus. Qui est... Mais j'ai déjà le. sur l'intégral. Et ça! Ça, c'est Jackpot d'un CD. J'étais très content de trouver ça. Extrait des bandes originales des films de Jacques Tati. Le jour de fête, euh, Mon oncle, Les vacances de M. Hulot, puis Playtime. Ça, là... Oh, je viens de réaliser qu'il n'est pas très long. Mm -mm. C'est pas un CD qui dure longtemps. Ça, j'avais pas remarqué, par exemple, que ça ne durait pas longtemps. Mais je suis content pareil de l'avoir. So I got uh, all this for seven bucks, and then I left and went to a yard sale that I almost turned to on the street to go, and I decided to go to the collective sale first. Turns out that when I came back and did the sale, uh, there was nothing for me. Across the street, actually, there was another sale, and the guy had records, but he sold all his great records, the, the best ones, very early. I, I was still in bed when he sold the... Uh, a ten for ten bucks, he sold a Beatles record signed by John Lennon. His sister used to live in London, uh, in England. I missed it by several hours. 
All was left for me to buy for a dollar each were those two LPs. The Guess Who flavors in great shape. I bought it because it's in terrific shape. I was curious. I know it doesn't have a uh, Randy Backman in it anymore at that point in 74, but I said, oh, can go wrong. It's, it's clean. And Stampy Eaters. Rubes, Dudes, and Rowdies. Rowdies, Rowdies, Rowdies. And it's also not bad. In great, nice shape. I'm still looking for a 45 upgrade of Hit the Road Jack. I don't know why that freaking 45 is so elusive. I'm still angry at myself for leaving back uh, behind a stack, a stack of half a dozen mint condition 45s of the Stampeders for 25 cents each. I was so pissed off at the moment that uh, Hit the Road Jack was not in the stack. I just threw the stack back in there and I didn't buy a single one. Uh, I regret not picking up the whole stack of 45s, but anyway, I got this LP today. That's all I got, so uh, thanks for watching.